Last time out, we saw what happens when a license tries to produce multiple different games across different platforms. Essentially, it isn't a good idea, which is probably why we don't see FIFA doing it these days. But whilst the console games streamlined into one series across all platforms, the SmackDown vs Raw rivalry continued unabated, and would become the defining feature of an entire generation of WWE games from 2004 to 2011, as wrestling gaming slowly transitioned into HD graphics, faster frame rates, and hopefully slightly less fun with glitchy physics. Actually, not so much the last one. Welcome to 30 Years of WWE Gaming, Part 3. A brand new era for WWE Gaming, but in a lot of ways the same old good stuff, actually, as we move into the SmackDown v Raw era with the video game called in SmackDown v Raw. Yeah. By the way, is it is it good to be back after your side of the brand split? It's good to be back. I mean, there was a reason after Day of Reckoning 2, they just stopped making games for the other consoles and well, they focused just, on the They just ported the ones. one game across all of them. Wouldn't yeah. that make more sense? Let's make a pay-per-view, shall we? Will that cheer you up? Well, that, maybe. M maybe a little bit. Can we call it Great Balls of Fire? Why would we want to call it Great Balls of Fire? That's a terrible name for a... P oh, wait. Oh, yeah, Is right. it a Raw brand pay-per-view, SmackDown, or joint hosting? They're really pushing this SmackDown v Raw thing. It's, it's like, two's aside, damn it. Uh, matches... Uh, can we have simulated matches? Yeah, let's let's make some interesting simulated matches for the Right, okay, let's have six matches. Right, so our first match is between my boy Rob Van Dam and everyone's favourite former SmackDown announcer, JBL. Second match, Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho. That's a pretty good one. Interesting. The card's pretty good so far. So for the third match, let's let's make a match ourselves. A triple threat? A triple. Triple threat, yeah. Okay, I'm going to pick Mark Jindrak. So Mark Jindrak versus Garrison Cade. Garrison Cade? Exactly. Garrison Cade versus Scotty Too Hotty. This is, this is a disaster already. <laughs> it's a disastrous match. <laughs> Look at it. Look how bollocks it is. Continue. Randy Orton versus Kane. That's not a bad match. Shelton Benjamin versus Roddy Piper. That's a good hardcore match right there. Yeah. That's and then it is time for our main event with Chuck Palumbo versus Tajiri. Yeah. Tajiri. What a main event that is. And then an interference from Eddie Guerrero and. Oh, double interference. Double interference. John Eddie Guerrero Cena. and John Cena. Which probably should have been the real main event instead of Chuck Palumbo and Tajiri. We are now going to play Great Balls of Fire, lowercase. Here we go. Oh, we're going to get like an opening video package for the pay-per-view. Hyping the main event of Chuck Palumbo versus Tajiri. Oh. Greatest main event in like, raw history. They genuinely are doing a hype package for Chuck Palumbo versus Tajiri. Look at this. Oh my god. The main event of Great Balls of Fire. Well, there's this fire on Chuck Tajiri's Palumbo. Uh, trousers. Yes. So. There we go. This is pay-per-view. Genuinely though, I really like this. This yeah. is very cool. Do you want to give us some words, Michael Cole? Let's have some words from Taz. Okay, thanks Taz, let's move on. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to simulate a few of these matches and then, um, you know, play a couple of them. You may have guessed which ones we're playing, but uh, <laughs> the absolute job of matches that we're playing. Anyway, let's go to our first match, RVD versus JBL. So, first match up, see how that one went. It's a win for RVD, I'm happy. Shawn Michaels vs Chris Jericho, second match on the card. As a win for HBK, I'm doing well. And now, it is time for the greatest triple threat ever. Mark Jindrak, Garrison Cade, and Scotty Too Hotty. No. <laughs> a zero and a half count. A zero count for Scotty Too Hotty. Oh. oh my god, submission meter. Submission meter, everything's blurry and shaking. Oh my god. Is it actually simulating like the loss of blood flow to the head? I think so. He's He's demonstrating oh, hang on! Mechanics for how have us. you got? How have you got a weapon out? No, come back! No, you! Oh, nice! You set up yeah, the Rich table. I'll distract him. Hang on. There we go. Uh, there you go, mate. Okay, Over cheers. to you. Thank you. Oh, I'm, oh, on, I'm on the table. That'll do. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, damn it! Oh, I'm going. To oh! It. <laughs> Pile driver through the table. By God! He's got another table. Where did that come from? It's table mania. <laughs> and the garrison ah. It fears. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I am the table! Not oh. another table. Where are the tables keep appearing from? They just keep appearing and disappearing from an alternate universe. Save me. Hang on. Save me. Oh. oh. There we go. One, two, three. That's hey. it. And what is this? Jindrak just let it happen. 
It's time for a main event! Oh! <laughs> oh now you get your backflip in. The one thing I don't like about this uh, grappling system is that it's kind of a two-phase. You, you kind of go to do a move, but then you have this lock-up, and then you do a move. Do you know what I mean? So it's, yeah, a, bit, it's, a, bit it's a bit less, like, uh, snappy. Like, the, the here comes the payment's very crisp. You would just do moves. But I guess, technically, it makes more sense from, like, a technical wrestling standpoint. But from a gameplay standpoint, I'm not sure. Maybe they'd refine the system later. Oh, spectacular running knee. Will this be a pin? No. Oh, just... Not even... To do is like I'm not even gonna humor that with a with a cow. Oof. With a cow. <laughs> with a cow. What a mess. Maybe that's the real interference in this match. A cow's gonna run out to the ring. When, when is the interference coming? Oh, that's a good question. The interference that we clearly didn't plan. <laughs> oh, here he is. No, he it's is. John Cena. Do 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 do. Thugonomics. There's oh, Eddie Guerrero. How the about game. that? <laughs> what are the chances? Eddie Guerrero's just shown up. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> Steps, so John Cena just will come loose. Sorry, John Cena just Irish whipped me into the side of the ring, and I just kept running, 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 and then slowly fell over on the steps. I'm just doing the ref here. Oh my god! Oh, we got DQ. Oh, we got. <laughs> Hang on. So the interference wasn't a DQ, but you beating up Hebs was a DQ. This and is that the is worst, the end of our main event. The worst main event ever. The worst main event in WWE history. Chuck Palumbo. Worse than the Punjabi DQ. prison. Worse than any Jinder Mahal match. <laughs> Chuck Palumbo wins by DQ against Tajiri. <laughs> And with that, I think we need to move on. Because I, I think the crowds are about to start a riot. <laughs> and now onwards to WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. And now... Yes? This is your favourite wrestling game of all time, isn't it? It is. I think it probably can be beaten if I play a bit more 2K17 or one of the newer ones where there's so many more options. But kind of like shut your mouth for me, it's not technically the best wrestling game of all time, but it's the one that means the most to you. Yeah, I think having put several hundred hours in... It, it just has to be. Yeah, it's basically if I spent most of my early teen years playing Shut Your Mouth, you spent most of your, what, GCSE years playing yes, this? Yes, while I was supposed to be studying for my GCSEs, I played this instead. Should we demonstrate by bringing back our old favourite Chop Master Steve, last oh, seen in yes. Day of Reckoning? I think it's time. Oh my god, is he going to be Mr. America? No, he's not. He's, <laughs> he's going to be Mr. Oh, that's Mr. Ming Vars. <laughs> Mr. Changing Rooms. Um. There's just too much options, really, in this. There are now almost too many creator wrestler options in these games. <laughs> Good, yes, yes. He has a Scottish grandparents. He's paying tribute to that. Finalize. Are we happy with Top Master Steve? He's looking good in the new generation, I've got to say. I think we should put him in one of the new match types. Ah, so we've got Backstage Brawl. Fulfill your fantasy? Dare I ask what that one is? Uh, it's like a bra and panties match. But okay, we don't need meter. We don't need no, to play that, then. We don't. Or the one you've highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> you've noticed. <laughs> I wonder what you were doing. He's done that. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> chest hair city. Oh, yeah. Right. The Undertaker versus oh. Chomp Master Steve. Oh. There he is. Hey, there he is. So, five years on. After that brutal injury on the first SmackDown game where Undertaker literally tombstone his neck into powder. Finally, they cross paths once again in a buried alive match. This is going to be off the chain. Right. Undertaker versus Chopmaster. Ow! Ooh, what's this? What's this over here? Hmm. It's a nice casket. Why do you want to lie down? <laughs> what? what the fuck? Oh my god, he's actually buried his- he's, he's now dead. He is now dead. I've literally put my controller down. I, I, you can't I, have a buried alive match without a tombstone pile driver. Right, that's it. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> right. The ink. Oh, oh, I gotta move in! Quick, 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 quick! How are you tired already, Steve? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I give up. I'm actually leaving now. There's a reason why this is my favourite game. They did start to move towards more of a realistic grapple system in this one, so you had to really time the counters and time the button press and that, which was not good for me. I'm not good with timing. Allied with a slightly more fiddly gameplay system, like, I'm not so sure about the stamina thing. It feels like you literally do a move and then immediately you're like, oh my god, I'm exhausted. Like, the rest of sell a lot more in this game, which is realistic, but I don't know. I think having grown up for years on wrestlers being like, do moves, do some more moves, and wait, we're doing some more moves, you know what I mean? 
Oh, is that it? Oh, no, is that... No, it's just me doing a Tombstone Power Driver again. Oh. Why is it now all black and white? Like, oh, my Because God. it's the third one you've taken. Oh, is it? Uh, have I now actually died? Is that yeah, what it is? That, that's it. Okay. There we go. Amateur challenge number four cleared. Yay! So basically, I want to play. I want to do wrestling moves in a wrestling game. I don't want to play Parappa the Rapper. You taking another? Tombstone yeah, I know. Bard, right? Yeah. I know. Good. Is this match over yet? No. Because I can't put you in the fucking casket. Issues here between these superstars. That's it. Right. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then. And then. And then. And then. Yes. 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 Tap any button. Don't tap things. Haha! -ha. Denied! Why would you counter that? Yeah, just to annoy you. Right, just because Steve is determined. <laughs> Steve is <laughs> determined to take a fifth soon stone pile driver. Determined to have n a worse conditioned neck than Kurt Angle. Oh my god, oh. he literally just got power slammed through the. He literally got power bomb through the digger. This is uh, my sixth finisher. Yeah. I'm not even going to press buttons. There we go. And then. Close the casket. Well, that was easy. Actually, please be on my side for You're a minute. You're being buried. Oh, there we go. At last. No, please. Leave. Yeah, and that's right. for Shotmaster Steve. Fuck off, mate. You're an embarrassment. Yeah, well, there's SmackDown v Raw 06. Uh, good game. I think it might come down to personal preference. I mean, I get it. You, you've, this is your favourite ever. But, like, I don't know. It's probably... I don't think it's quite as pick up and play as the others. But the mechanics are more nuanced. So maybe long term it's better? Yeah. And the career mode is decent. Yes, so there we go. If you really want to dive into this game, then that's probably the best way to play it. As just to sort of pick up and play, especially against him, m maybe not as good. Nonetheless, it's time to move on to 2007. Um, Nay? Yes. Um, I thought we were playing WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 now, but um, this appears to be some sort of grand design simulator. Well, the thing is, they allow you to customise your locker room. So uh, let me let me show you around. So we've got raw posters. Nice, not I like that. Best brand. Computer over in the corner for uh, porn. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. We've got the computer there. We've got the world's most impractical darts board, all the way across the bar. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to stand at the end of the bar and throw darts in front of the barman's face. Yes. Nice. Okay, I approve of that. Very nice. And uh, yeah, there's a moose head upstairs. There he is. A moose head. Look the at that. Head. And also, did I just see a Spirit Squad poster? It's the only poster that's unlocked. So aside from locker room mode, we have a few more developments for this game. They really kind of kept going on the more realistic gameplay feature. This was also the first game in the series on the Xbox 360. And fun fact, Nay, do you know what was a feature on the Xbox 360 version? What's that? Sweat. Sweat? Sweat. Sweat on the wrestlers. Unfortunately, we're just on the PS2, so apparently the PS2 processor cannot cope with man sweat. Well, nor can I, so I'm glad we don't have the Xbox okay, so, version. Okay, <laughs> so, that's good to know. So, let's dive into the game. Fancy going for a Money in the Bank contract? Let's go for it. Hell yeah! Look at that for a Money in the Bank roster. <laughs> the Belfast Brawler, Finley. We've got the Boogeyman, as in the Boogeyman who hides under your bed. Scary, not the Boogeyman, dances to disco. Mr. Ken Kennedy, 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 Kennedy. Rey Mysterio, OVD, and Viscera. And away we go! We are underway in the Money in the Bank match. So, what we've got to figure out here is that... The, <laughs> is that you are already climbing a ladder. Oh, holy shit, you're not hanging around, are you? What we've also got to figure out here is that they've changed up the grappling system again. Now everything's on the analog stick. <laughs> oh my god. Boogeyman is now dead, I'm somehow. Pick the fucking ladder up. They've changed up the grappling system again. So now all the grappling is done off the right stick. So how do you actually pick up the ladder? I don't know! Hang on, why am I already re- Why have I already lost stamina? I just got out the ring! Oh, there you go, he's gonna do it Mr. for Mr. Kennedy's just doing it for us. Alright, cheers Mr. Kennedy, in the ring please. Cheers. In there, there you go, thank you. Mate. We still don't know how to do it ourselves, but you saved us a job there, thank you. There we go. Now, if you get up the- hang on. Get up, go on, go on Finley. Go on Finley, go up the ladder. Oh, f what? What? Oh, I just sort of got to the top and then both of us fell off for no reason. The ladder physics haven't really changed. No, the ladder physics have not improved, it's worth saying. Oh, go on. Oh, pfft. Why do we keep What? I don't understand, I we keep going to- RVD. We- I keep trying to get on the ladder and then just mystically falling off when no one touches it. Oh, now you've got a whole circle to regain stamina, when yeah. I'm not being eviscerated. MK2. <laughs> Very nice. Just go get up the thing. Oh my- what?! Why did- what?! Literally, nothing touched the ladder and it just sort of went bleh. 
Yeah. Reaching. Uh, what? <laughs> the two ladders collide. Oh my god. Ah, oh, why? Ladder physics are so broken. This Money in the Bank ladder match started at WrestleMania 22. It's going to still be going on at WrestleMania 32. Vissa is now just humping me. Oh. oh. Um, um. Uh. This is not PG. Can I run up? Yes. Oh my <laughs> God. He's just. Oh. <laughs> He's just done the Shelton Benjamin spot. That's amazing. Oh my God. Here comes the boogie bomb. Oh God. Onto a ladder. Oh, oh nearly. The ladder's moved. <laughs> the ladders do have a habit of moving customary. a lot in this game. Oh. All right. Fuck yous. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> oh my leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ladder physics are so broken. I'm gonna do the run spot. Dude, I do the run. Oh, hey! <laughs> I'm convinced the ladder fell over before I even got there, but never mind. That's pretty cool. I'll give them that. They should have worked on the basic ladder physics to begin with, but as a new feature, that's very cool. I'm just sitting in the corner pondering my life decisions. <laughs> Why the f what the fuck am I doing this? Has nobody touched the ladders? No, Ray! No, Ray! 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 No! You know, Ray! Anymore. No, Ray! Why, Kennedy! <laughs> <laughs> Kennedy, what are you doing? Suicide dive. Kennedy, what's <laughs> up? It's a mess. It's a mess. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. oh Ray. Oh, this is the best thing. This is the best, worst thing ever. I'm gonna do the Shelton Benjamin walk again. No, run, no, Kennedy's run, gonna run. run up the line. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> Let's go, mate. I fancy a Guinness. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to leave him to it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Meantime, I think it's time to move on to SmackDown v Raw 08, don't you? Yeah, He's I'm, trying to I'm run. running there. I'll meet you in the back, mate. You're probably gonna get knackered by the time you get there, anyway. <sighs> there we go. Right. See you later, lads. We're off to the bar. Let me know when someone's won. So we're finally out of the Money in the Bank match that would never end and indeed went on for another 15 minutes after we finished recording. And now we're into WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Featuring ECW. Yes, featuring ECW. WWE's version, the terrible one. So I think the best way to check out the new era of ECW, which oddly, given this is 2008, it would have been two years after. It came back in 2006 with De uh, December to Dismember and the new, uh, you know, weekly show on sci-fi. I think they wanted to forget all about December to Dismember. Yes, I think they did. They, would, they were like, let's introduce it in 07. Oh, actually, let's hold off on it for a bit until it's good, except it never got good. But we're going to make it good now, aren't we, Nay? We are. We're going to have an extreme rules match. I'm not skipping this intro. Yeah, it's weird, like, I wasn't watching WWE for the entire time CM Punk was a thing, and then as soon as I got back into it, I was like, damn it, and I went back and just watched everything. I was like, can you have a favorite wrestler in retrospect? Yes. Yes, CM Punk is mine. Ah, oh, I see. Hmm, what do we fancy down here? Ah, let's, let's go all Mick Foley, shall we? Hello, barbed wire bat. Come here, Kim Booker. Hold on, I'll have you son. Let me get a weapon of my own. No, I don't think that's. I just want to pommel you with this, mate. No. No. Ah, <laughs> that's a big swing he's got there. Yeah, this is. <laughs> How extreme rules! We've now twatted the ref. Come here, Somebody come here, so I can grunt at you aggressively. Oh, oh my leg! Oh, oh. straight in the shin. Extreme, extreme shin bashing right there. Oh, oh, it's just a battering. By oh, God, by oh, God. Oh, God. Hang on, hang on. How's it broken already? That's not extreme. I've now stored my fighting style, apparently. Yeah, see, that was one of the things about the new system that was weird. Like, hang on, what? I, I know you store finishers, but store... What, what am I storing about my fighting style? The essence of it in your soul. <laughs> I'm harnessing it. Oh. Move oh, R to I wrench. Escaped. I barely even knew what was going on there. Right. There's also no run button, seemingly. Even when I don't exactly agree well, maybe it's a different saying. button altogether. Me too. And I, for one, do agree with what they're saying. Yeah. Oh, he's finally got a weapon. Yes. What's he going for? He's going for the old favourite, the steel chair. Nice. Oh, is that a barbed wire table? Or is that <laughs> you just hate the ref. Well, you know the Get in. When the cat's away. Get Try in. I'm trying. There we go. And in we go. Oh, ball. Oh! <laughs> By God, a chair shot to the head. Brutal concussion. 
You're now missing me, Muchesh. Oh my god. Big swings there. I'm uh, leaving again. Let's do some brawling. Ow! Let's do some brawling. Ow! Let's not do some brawling. I've changed my mind. I don't want to do some brawling now. It's Come really. Here. Ow! I had to somehow glitch into place so you'd hit me correctly. That was a bit weird. I do like the feature where you just mash buttons repeatedly to try and get up. That is. That does favour me, to be honest. It's in most of the games, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Oh, I thought you were putting me through the table for a second. Well, so did I. That's what I was trying to do. Don't go for a pinfall. Um. Two. Where's complain to ref? There's also no... Oh, I'm complaining to the ref. <laughs> Hold on, I've got a better way to complain to the ref. Oh no. My god! <laughs> what, Come flight him and miss? Yeah. I love Booker's, like, mum jog around the ring as well. Yeah, it's, it's the overream walk away. <laughs> yeah. D -d Demonstrate your... <laughs> the light jog around the ring, I love that. Stop trying to pin me, you pleb. I'm not trying to pin you, it's just coming up on screen. Oh, massive chop! Steve Chops. Massive chop! In in memory of our fallen comrade, Chopmaster Steve. He's not coming back for a bit. Ah, oh, what a shame. I've been buried alive by you, you hey. monster. Oh, get off. Hang on, why is there no, like... Can I not count? Is there no, like, button mashing for a pin? I don't know. That's weird. This, I, I think this game, like, the, the game's changed a lot between each game, like, gameplay-wise, and I think this was the one where they started to go a bit too far. Like, the system was fine in the last couple, except for the ladder physics, obviously. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Nudge the table out the way. The, ref <laughs> the referee appears out of nowhere. My god. I'm apparently mostly dead at this point. I apparently can't counter pins, either. Yeah, so, um... Nah, uh, maybe like the actual WWE CW, this game was not as good as best, it could have been. Best left out. So, uh, shall we move on then? I think we should. And so, to SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. Once again featuring ECW, and this time featuring a new mode altogether, Road to WrestleMania. Now, as far as I know, this is kind of an amalgamation of season, a little bit of, uh, you know, career mode, stuff like that. Shall we, uh, shall we give it a little explore? Let's have a little look. Ah, so there's only six characters we can play as. Right, so this is a more like the showcase mode from later 2K games, if you think about yeah. it. One of the options is Mysterio and Batista. A single co-op? I think we have to do it. <laughs> ding, 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 no. <laughs> and now, now what are we doing? Oh, nice. We need to take the battering here. That was some animation. There is it. That was sort of five frames a second animation there as he got to his feet. Don't know quite what that was all about. Let's go for a pinfall. See, I think the system is now quite refined. I think at first it was a bit clunky. Argue, argue, argue with the ref. Argue, argue with the <laughs> Have a strop to the ref. I approve of that. What the hell? Oh my god, what's a comeback? What the fuck? Hang on, he's going for the he's going for the quick roll-up. Hanging on, hanging on desperately. Oh that seemed a bit scripted. Yeah, here we go. Oh my god! It's a not a Batista bomb! It's a vertical suplex! Yeah, no, it's like a jackhammer almost, pretty much. Pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him, Here we go. Do we even need a Batista bomb to beat the Miz? We don't! Batista just squashed him. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I think I think by now the new control system with the analog sticks and everything it was kind of getting a bit better, but a little bit hard to follow, but they're refining it a bit more now. I think they trimmed it back after 08. There was just too much bollocks in 08. So now they've trimmed it back a bit and they've refined it. So this is interesting. What would basically happen now is that the other half of the respective tag teams are having a singles match. Now you're in there with uh, John Morrison, who is the partner of uh, the Miz in the tag championships at this time. Though I can't get over those like, like stop motion getting two feet animations. I don't understand why it's so bad. Maybe this was the time where they fully stopped giving a fuck about the PS2. This was the third game that was also out on PS3 and Xbox 360. Maybe they just stopped caring about the PS2 at this point. I think actually the graphics are worse than 08. Well, we will be getting to the PS3 games next. This is the final PS2 game we're playing. Yeah, because this was in the era where the PS2 and 3 versions weren't that different, just different graphically. So gameplay-wise, it should still be similar. Nice uh, detail on the pizza stall over there. Oh, nice Hurricane Rana. My, my, that guy's hands in the front row. I'm sorry, that guy with the, the grey shirt in the front row. When he puts his hands up next... Oh, look at his hands! Goodness, he's he's oh. just got blobs for hands! And look at the woman over on the left as well! Oh. What is going on with the crowd? 
Oh my god, I think there were better fans on the Dreamcast. So we've got some go. Oh, here we go. We've got a 619 coming up. Way oh, nice. And then way oh, nice. It broke the screen apparently. Oh, and he kicked out. What oh, god? I know so my finisher with the two count. Damn you. And because Mysterio is a goodie, he does not argue with the ref. No, he just kicks John Morrison to death instead. <laughs> Oh, I did like a front flip and he just caught my leg. He's <laughs> kicking me in the knee repeatedly now. Have another oh, and another 619. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, and again. This is just too much. Oh. I love that screen shatter effect. And this time, he. Yes, he does get the win. It's weird, the way they sort of kick out as three happens, it kind of looks like a kick out and then you have to, it's like, no, there's the bell, there it is. They've got to keep it close. So they have like, got to keep it close. So <laughs> Yeah, next week on Raw, that's probably exactly what's going to happen, isn't it? Well, we'll see. Yeah, the uh, story elements of this, it seems to be the first one where there's a real proper progression. Like the road to WrestleMania mode has a progression leading up to WrestleMania. There's a proper story for each of the six featured wrestler and teams, because we're in a team. Yep, and Ray's has been twatted by a chair. My God. As good as the career modes are, where you progress to being the champion at WrestleMania, to have a bit of WWE Universe in there is probably better. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I, I think this was sort of based, semi-based around feuds that were actually on WWE television at the time. It's kind of a good way of doing something very scripted at this point, which is, it's pretty cool. It kind of replicates playing an actual episode of Friday Night Smackdown or something like that. Yeah, do you know I what I mean? Yeah, it adds the emotion to, because otherwise you're just doing exhibition matches constantly. It adds the emotion yeah, yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of combines win. some of the scripted bits, some of the backstage bits from the career modes with more of an emphasis on, like, emulating actual storylines from the show, which I think is very cool. So we're back in the locker room. It's now 72 days to WrestleMania. Batista and Rey Mysterio are on their way to reclaiming their tag championships. For now, we're going to leave them to it and move away from the PS2 era into the brave new world of the PS3. So a quick little detour mid SmackDown v Raw to take a look back in history. It's been a while since we've seen some of these fellas. Hello, Andre. Hello, Hulk. Hello, Stone Cold. We thought we'd left you a lot behind, but in 2009, it seems that SmackDown vs. Raw decided to get all nostalgic with this spin-off game, Legends of WrestleMania. And we're playing this on the Xbox 360, interestingly. You can tell this from the SmackDown v Raw 09 period, because it literally allows you to import SmackDown v Raw 09 data. Although, if it's imported the SmackDown v Raw 09 gameplay, yeah, maybe not quite as good. We are literally getting into the vault. I see what we're doing here. <laughs> So we've got two main modes here. WrestleMania Tour mode is kind of the core thing of the game, and as it kind of, kind of like the showcase modes in later 2K games, kind of allows you to play famous moments from WrestleMania history. The Legend Killer mode is quite interesting. That's if you have a creator wrestler, you can go on and then try and beat some of the legends in the game and literally be like a young Randy Orton, a Legend Killer. Well, seeing as you cruelly murdered Chopmaster Steve, we won't be doing Legend Killer just yet. Um, he's still having multiple spinal fusion surgeries. So let's stick to WrestleMania Tour mode, shall we? Way interesting. So we got relive, which is do things exactly how they were. Rewrite, which is change history, and redefine, which is it's kind of like Back to the Future or Twelve Monkeys rules on time travel at WrestleMania. So should we should we relive? Yes, for the moment, let's relive. So we've got I think it's the main. Well, we're stuck with the main event of WrestleMania two, which is the WWF Championship match between Hulk Hogan and King Kong Bundy. Oh, the crowds are better. The crowds are a fair bit better. The they are actually. Um, I think the wrestlers might be worse than the crowds. Bun oh my, Bundy kind of looks like he's sort of stretched over, like he's got no skeleton. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should get some of the crowd to wrestle this match instead, because he's... I will say though, I will say though, the move to HD has really benefited. Check out those sweat physics. Oh, look at the sweat glistening of the... Oh, look at that. Oh. Bundy's sweating. Wow. <laughs> So this is actual walkout music, just slow clicks. I don't know. Yeah. Like slow, smooth jazz. Here comes Bundy. He's gonna get Here comes ya. the Bundy. Yeah. Yeah, here's the music. Oh, the crowd goes wild. Of course they are. It's full of Hulkamaniacs, brother. No lie, I do actually really like the Hulk Hogan theme music. It's cool. Yeah, right. Like, no matter how uncool he is now, it's still cool. 
Look at him, he's just like, yeah, just pointing at stuff. He's like, yeah, you, and you, Hulkamaniac, you're another Hulkamaniac, you over there, you, the entranceway, you, the, the curtains. Do you know what I like about this is the legacy, um... Oh, they've got the retro font and everything, yeah. that's very cool, the retro graphics. That's like, very they've cool. they've really put some effort into making this feel like it's uh, back a in retro the classic broadcast, era. Yeah. yeah. Oh, if only we had this when we were playing the NES games. Oh. This is what we were imagining during those we NES were. games. That's what everyone was imagining. All we saw on screen was two like blobs going bleep bloop bloop bleep bloop bleep bloop 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 bloop. But in our minds, this is what was happening. QTE coming up, maybe? Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, my God. Training rats. Oh, you did it. I did. There we go. Nice. Training rats. Just, just smashing buttons over and over. Hey, where are you going? Hey. hey. Oi. Oi, come back. Come on, Hulk. Can't be, we can't be having this. Um, he's, he's gone. He's gone. Way. He went through the ropes a bit. Yeah, I did notice a bit of glitching there. So the reversals are QTEs here. Interesting. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. Like, uh, better in that I might have more of a chance of doing them, but worse in that they're quick time events. I think the main problem with having QTEs as reversals here is that I'm too good at QTEs, so... Yeah, you were good at the reversals anyway, so making them blindingly obvious QTEs with massive button prompts, maybe... Maybe they definitely scaled the difficulty curve down. This does seem a bit yeah, more cartoony and kid-friendly, but... I do appreciate the presentation of it. That was kind of what 80s WWF was. Oh, fuck it, I'm going over, mate. Go on, mate. Go for it. A true Hulkamaniac will climb the cage, brother! And... Oh, we are gone! He's out, mate! He's, he's out of he's here! fucking gone! Yeah! Man. No more See of this! See you later, Bundy! See you later, Kong! <laughs> King Kong, more like Ping Pong! His, his head just went through the cage a bit. Um, I am noticing, I am noticing some graphics issues, but... Hey. It doesn't matter! It doesn't matter what you think! Because the Hulkamania's won, and Hulkamania lives on, brother! So, uh, well, that was a pretty nice look at that game, a nice, uh diversion down nostalgia lane and our rose tinted spectacles actually looked quite good yeah. so with that in mind let's get back to the main smackdown v raw series and on the ps3 this is wwe smackdown versus raw 2010 and uh, we're starting off this is actually the main menu but there's also this training facility mode that you can do behind the main menu it kind of reminds me of those bits in fifa where you're on the load screen and you'll do like a tutorial mini game like a yeah. dribbling mini game or something i was reading in the notes for this game by the way that apparently the creator wrestler modes have been completely redesigned from the ground up Oh, sounds like it's time to resurrect someone. I think so too. We haven't seen him since SmackDown vs. Raw 06, where you brutally murdered him he as was the Undertaker. By the Undertaker. His mortal nemesis, the Undertaker. He literally just murders him whenever. But a whole five years later, it is time for the grand return of Chopmaster Steve. Yeah. Nay, you will go on my first whistle. Your time starts now. Several bad puns later. So Chopmaster Steve is ready to make his grand return to WWE. What sort of match shall he have in his return? Don't say a match with The Undertaker. Okay, so I think we need to check out a new match type, the Championship Scramble. Yes, I agree. What a stat scramble this is. Jeff Hardy, Evan Bourne, Cody Rhodes, Mike Knox, and Chopmaster Steve. Low res Steve. <laughs> Low res Steve, still in the PS2 graphics. Away we go. Right, I am Cody Rhodes versus Mike Knox. Here we go. Well, the... <laughs> I like the fact that the crowd's still in the PS2 era. In fact, the back few rows are still in the PS1 era. <laughs> they are, they're it's like the previous console generations are here in the crowd tonight. We've got PS2 ringside, PS1 in the middle rows, and N64 up the back. The cheaper your tickets, the less resolution you yeah, have. Yeah, in the, in the nosebleed seats are actually the NES crowds. <laughs> Just static crowds. Three, two, one. And here comes Jeff Hardy, here he comes. No music or anything, I'd like to point that out. But he is in. Oh my god, am I now being ganged up on? No, I'm not. I've managed to turn the tide. Right, I'm gonna be a chicken shit heel. Hide over here, here we go. Tonight is the night Shortmaster Steve will have his vengeance on the world. Imagine if he walks out of it, ECW champion. <laughs> he does do well in, in, like, stipulation matches. He's lost every single, like, pinfall match he's ever been in. But he's won a steel cage match and he's won a ladder match. Maybe he can win a... Oh no. Oh no, the ref's dead. Oh. Oh my god! What are you doing? I'm, I've lost it. Hey! Master Steve! He's back! The crowd and, the cra pop. and the crowd are going wild! Oh my god! It's a bigger pop than Stone Cold! Master Steve has hit the ring! With his the chops! With his new hair! Oh, the chops! Chop City! Mike Knox has run away! He can't take any more chopping madness! Oh my god! It's just being chopped to death! And it's Evan Bourne! Currently known as Matt Seidel! He's in the ring! 
Slow well, no, he's not yet. He, he, slow res Evan Vaughn. <laughs> this was from the period where they started to take a lot of the like hard elements away as well, so it was hard to tell what the hell was actually going on in a match. But you'd kind of have to base it off of... They kind of have like little momentum meters beneath each character. Do you see what I mean? Pin! Go on, pin someone! No, Cody, what are you doing doing technical wrestling? What are you doing? You blithering idiots! And uh, that's a draw. Okay. Oh. Well, that was wholly unsatisfying. I demand a rematch. So, Cody Rhodes and Natalia versus Chopmaster Steve and Beth Phoenix. This is a main event just to end all, really. And uh, tag. There we go. Tag your... Ow! Haha! <laughs> Not the legal person now, am I? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm still going to beat you up. Ow! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I didn't think that was a thing. What? Let's do that again. Yeah. I thought if it was a mixed tag, the ref would... this on you. Yeah, I thought if it was a mixed tag, the ref would be like, ah, oh, you got to go tag in your female partner now. Dude, yeah, you just thought it was Lucha Underground, so it was just like mixed matches up and down the card. All but, uh, Riptide. All Riptide, yes, correct. Putting over some of our favorite British indies. Yeah. And um, I've forgotten so how to I counter. So if I hit her at the side of the ring... Yeah, I, that could be an issue. That could I be an issue. stay away from that. Right. No. Careful. I'm doing the heel thing. Ha <laughs> ha! Can't hit me, can you? Can't hit me. Ah. One moment. Go I'm just going to wander party. over here like Alistair Overy. Walk like slowly over. Me. Right. There we go. Natalia versus Beth Phoenix. Oh, dear. She can very much hit me. You haven't thought this through, have you? No, not so much. And she's already got a finisher. What the fuck? What the fuck? Cody, help! Ow! Ah! Ah! Yeah, thank you, Cody. Hold and that on. wasn't a DQ, Hold apparently. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, no, that was totally fair, mate. Hold totally fair. Can the, can the women hit the men, or is that a DQ? I... Is there... This is... Can the women hit the men? That's interesting. Let's What's find out. Let, let me tag in Cody. Okay, yeah. fair enough. And down goes Natalia. Let me tag we're, Cody. We're DQ to there we go. Now, hit me. There we go. No, apparently it's fine. Apparently women hitting men, fine in these matches. Men hitting women, not good. I have now made a mistake. I now can't <laughs> defend myself. Um, no, I'm just... What? Hey. What? what? So Cody Rhodes wins the title by way of double DQ? Have <laughs> <laughs> drawn the championship <laughs> scramble? A fitting end to ECW, I think. It's a mess, really. Should we, uh, should we move on before we get DQ'd I anymore? I think we should. Another year, another game. It's WWE SmackDown versus Raw 2011, and we've got something very interesting. You see, the old career mode... They decided that was getting a bit stale. I mean, we didn't. We always liked the career modes. But they decided to kind of amalgamate that and season mode into that option right there, the universe mode, which is watching your every move and customizing a unique WWE experience, man, how you play. It all sounds a bit Big Brother, to be honest. Yeah, well, it's interesting as well, because this is the last game of the uh, SmackDown versus Raw kind of era. Yeah. There's no more SmackDown versus Raw games. This was the last game they were named in that series. And the last game of each era really seems to push into the next era with its own Yeah, it games. kind of lays down the groundwork yeah. for the next one. So, shall we check that out? So... I believe at the universe mode, I think you can like customize each show and then it moves through like that. I'm just gonna let Nathan mark out for the next few minutes. Yeah, just a bit of head banging going on here. Look at him. Look at him. Everything is come to you late. So I'm ruining it. Nah, it's alright. Yeah. Fun fact this theme got me back into wrestling. We were playing a wrestling game of some kind a couple of years ago. And you were telling me how much you loved his entrance music, and I'd forgotten about it because I'd been away from wrestling for so long. He wasn't using this theme when I last watched wrestling in like 2002. So I found it, I was like, holy shit. And then I found a load of my other favorite themes and some new ones like CM Punk. So and was saying, like, hang on, what's been going on in WWE lately? And it was around 2015, I started watching again. So you're saying I'm technically responsible for you getting back into wrestling? Yes. Excellent. Yeah, you are. Thank nice. you. I appreciate that. Uh. Um? Oh, is he the champion and he's he watching the number one contenders? Right, okay, yeah, I see what's going on. That's nice. I That's thought he was about to jump over and interfere. Yeah, I just thought he'd just shown up with, like, his parents. It's like, hi, I'm watching my own show tonight. See, this is a lot similar to the current games now. This is really where, the, like, the foundations of modern WWE gaming are coming to the fore. And it kind of proves what we've been saying ever since SmackDown v Raw or so. Or maybe going back to, like, um, Here Comes the Pain. It's been, like, gradual advancements every time. No, no. <laughs> No! Two! Nice, I appreciate the crowd doing the two! That's pretty cool. 
Well, you've got a finisher in the bank. He's just waiting to spear me out of my boots. Trying to use it. Oh, I see it. I see it. I've got good. Look at my stamina meter right now. He's getting up. Uh oh, uh oh. Can I counter the spear? I cannot counter the spear. I'm just, I'm already ready in the button mashing position. Oh my god, it's miles away. Come on. Come on. Yes, I got the kick out. Yes. Okay, I like this system. Also, your chest is red raw. Have I been chopping it? You've been chop mastering me. Oh shit, Chop Master Steve has been giving uh, Seamus tutorials backstage. He's been training with Chop Master Steve at the performance center. Oh, oh and wrestling. This is really smooth and crisp, I've got to say. Not many moves happening. I will say that. Just a lot of reversal. Lots of reversal. Reversal City. Spears are my thing, aren't Shame they? Shame at Ow. Uh oh. See how you do with the pin. Oh my god, it's miles away. Miles away. Yeah. yeah there we go. How was it a spear wasn't enough to pin me and then well, some like, technical chain wrestling was? Well, I was doing my sort of semi spears. They weren't proper finishers. But I, was just, I was just running into you. Nice. Okay. I like this highlights as well, not just the finish, but actually Yeah, highlights. this was one of the first games to do this. I like this. And as far as I remember, I think during the during the actual match, I could see little like film reels. So yeah. it was almost like they were saving those moments. Oh, look at the crowd on the edge of their seats. Was this my near kick out? Look at that. Well, this this has been the smoothest, crispest game so far. Yes. Oh, oh, oh it's hello. not over yet. Hang on. Did you forget about your other opponent? Yeah, your other opponent, Nay. Go oh, on, Vladimir Kozlov. Why? What's Why? Vladimir Kozlov doing Why? in the ring? My God, what is he doing here? He's wrestling me. So what? Just Vince McMahon was like, "Fuck you, Edge. I'm just gonna make you have another match." Basically, yeah. It's like he's just cashed in the money in the bank or something oh, straight after. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I was like, "Hang on, cashed in the number one contenders in the bank or what? Hup. I don't know." <laughs> You're battering him, mate. Oh, he's got nothing for you, Kozlov. You're doing worse than me, mate. Setting up for the finisher. Here we go. He's set up for the spear. My god! He's set up for the spear! Oh! oh. Slow then fast motion spear. Oh, here we go, come on. Go on, Kozlov, kick out of the first one. Uh, no, he didn't. Okay. Well done. Edge has won two consecutive matches. That'll be the end of Monday Night Raw for this week. And uh, pretty interesting universe mode. You can kind of see where it's going from here. Kind of an amalgamation of the old season mode. Bit of Road to WrestleMania. Bit of uh, well, yeah, career mode in there. there. It said four four weeks to backlash. So they're building up to the PPV. It's a bit like Road to WrestleMania. But ev every time there's a PPV, it builds up and you get new storylines. I think that's great. I it's think really nicely done. And, and we've, we've unlocked, unlocked Vladimir that. Kozlov. I like that as well. Once this you is... batter the shit out of someone, you unlock them. Oh. Are we ready to leave the SmackDown View Warrior behind? Just about, yeah. It was a good era. It was pretty good overall. A little bit... Your favourite game of all time. True, but a little bit samey. A little like, bit samey. Some mechanics didn't work quite as well, but by the end, they really started to click. Yeah. Onwards into a brave new world we go! And with that, the SmackDown vs Raw series drew to a close. A final PC exclusive game in the series, SmackDown vs Raw Online, was in development but never saw the light of day. And by 2011, we were entering the era we know and recognise now. 2K would take over the publishing rights from THQ in 2013, and all roads now lead to the present day in WWE 2K18, with a renewed emphasis on simulation, customization, and shiny graphics. Join us next time as we conclude our epic journey through 30 years of WWE gaming.